The geologic history of San Diego County is based upon the pamphlet by that name done by Brad Riney, geologist at San Diego Natural History Museum. He drew a series of cross-section graphics going from the coast to the Imperial County along a line crossing Florida Canyon from west to east. The profile shows the underground and surface features of the county oriented looking north. You will see a seamless timeline of geologic activity for approximately 135 million years with narration about key events affecting the county's earth. The subterranean area of the graphics shows in geologic mapping format the structure, location, and kinds of rock. The video shows the rock movement over time. The surface illustration is a tilt and stretch representation of the surface from the cross section north to the county line. Our story begins about 150 million years ago near the end of the Jurassic period. Pangaea, the supercontinent, was breaking up into what we now know as the continent of our time. The North American Plate was moving west. The denser rock of the oceanic Farallon Plate was moving east under the North American Plate. This geologic activity is called subduction. 135 million years ago, the county was underwater and was to the west of what today is now Sonora, Mexico. On the planet, we were 130 miles southeast of present San Diego. The Farallon Tectonic Ocean Plate was moving east and going under the North American Plate. The first sign of this movement was a group of volcanoes rising up above the water surface forming an arc of islands. Thick beds of sediment were deposited along the continental shelf that was close to modern-day Arizona border. By 110 million years ago, the ash and erosion of the volcanoes made a thick layer of sediment on top of the Farallon Plate, which continued to go under the North American continent. A deep trench was forming off the coast as the point of contact continued east while the angle of the diving plate increased. This resulted in a push-pull action on the continental shelf. The downward moving sediments were heated and changed into different kinds of rock. This metamorphic rock was formed into a bulge that started to rise up to the east. These folded rocks were lifted to make high mountains. Today you can see this rock in the Laguna Mountains. It is called Julian Schist. Magma blowing and flowing onto the surface, cooled into various kinds of volcanic rock. This rock is seen at Black Mountain. Other rising magma collected into large pools under the surface, crystallizing into granitic rock. This rock is now seen in the peninsular range of mountains in the center section of the county. By 90 million years ago, the angle of the Farallon Plate flattened, so mountain building slowed and stopped. The high mountains were eroded, extending to the shoreline to the west. Huge amounts of material were deposited in the ocean, being sorted by gravity into small grains and large boulders. Most of the formation made by this erosion remains under the surface, but can be seen in patches around the west side of the county. The name for this remnant is Lasardi Formation. By 75 million years ago, a large coastal plain existed on the west, made up of the mountains that were eroded from the center of the county. This plain sank into the ocean, where new erosional material continued to be deposited. Point Loma and Cabrillo formations were a part of this time deposit. They can be seen today as cliffs along the shoreline of the central coast of the county. The surface profile changed dramatically, from high peaks and ridges of the previous millennia to rolling hills. By 65 million years ago, the continents were identifiably similar to today's plate shapes. Pangaea had almost completely been broken up, with only a few attachments remaining. A significant worldwide event occurred after a six-mile-wide meteor crashed in the area that is now Yucatan Peninsula, Mexico. 
The debris of that crash is called the KT boundary that signals the end of one geologic time period and the start of another. This was the time of the die-off of the large reptiles and the beginning of the rise of mammals. Fifty million years ago, the county was a flat place with no point of elevation over 2,000 feet. The trench of subduction event had moved east. Most rock from earlier periods had been eroded and deposited in the ocean. In what is now Sonora, Mexico, a very large river system originated in magma-built mountains to the east. A 27-mile ride river delta near the center of the county coast was the result. The cobbles from that river are now seen over most of the west county and are made up of igneous red to purple rhyolite, igneous white dacite, and the oldest rocks in the county, metamorphic quartzite cobbles from the sea floor. 28 million years ago, activity still remains fairly calm. The area of geologic activity was off the cross-section map in South County. The hills east of Chula Vista were eroding into a large alluvial plain. There were also some small volcanoes in the area making layers of ash that changed to rock over time. The large river from the east stopped flowing. Subduction was still going on, but the angle was now fairly flat. Erosion removed material over granitic rock of the peninsula range that rose up and was eroded down. Between 28 million years ago and 20 million years ago, the Farallon and Pacific Plate are being forced under the North American Plate as far east as what is now the east side of the Salton Sea. The Farallon Plate was completely absorbed into the mantle, so subduction stopped. The Pacific Plate replaced the Farallon Plate. 20 million years ago, the Pacific Plate began pulling northwest, creating stress. The pull of the North American Plate by the Pacific Plate began a rift valley, where the terrain on either side started dipping towards the Young Fault. The tipped up side became mountains that rose up in East County, while the tipped down edge became the Salton Sink. Cracks in the surface allowed magma to come to the surface, forming volcanoes and lava flows. The result was a large lava flow that can now be seen at Table Mountain. Six million years ago, the stress of the pull of the Pacific Plate opened a rift valley that allowed the Pacific Ocean to fill in the depression and become what is today the Gulf of California, while reaching north to what is today the town of Indio. The peninsula range rose again, and erosion sediments were deposited in the Salton Sink as progressively fine material. To the west, the deposits were larger and coarser gravel, and the San Andreas began moving the county to the northwest. This action continues today. Three million years ago, the Colorado River ran to San Diego's east on what is now the California-Arizona border. The original delta of the Colorado River was further north than it is today. Sediment was building a dam where the rift valley narrowed, ultimately cutting off ocean from the salt and sink. The northwest sliding of the county along the San Andreas Fault deformed the shape of the mountains with ridge lines now aligned with the fault, southeast to northwest. The Elsinore and the San Jacinto parallel faults formed. The peninsula mountain range rose and became more rugged. Our current urban areas were all underwater. Along the coast, a huge bay existed from La Jolla in the north to Ensenada, Mexico in the south. The deposits of sediment with extinct sea animals and plants give a good fossil record in the lower San Diego formation. Two million years ago, the Delta Dam was almost completed by deposits of the eroding Grand Canyon across the narrows of the Gulf of California. On the west, ocean currents eroded beaches along the coast inland to the foothills, removing sedimentary deposits. The peaks and ridges of the Central County Mountains would have been recognizable to us. With the exception of the coastal terrace, the geology of the county was pretty much as it is today. One million year ago to 10,000 years ago, the dam was completed closing off the upper Gulf of California. The Salton Sink alternated between being a dry lake bed 
and a large freshwater lake, Lake Kuhia. It was filled periodically by flooding from the Colorado River. On the west, the coastline rose 340 feet, making a terrace that ran from Mount Soledad into Mexico. Two active faults were formed on the coast. La Nacion Fault runs from San Isidro to San Diego State University and is seven miles west of the Rose Canyon Fault. The Rose Canyon Fault runs northwest from offshore Imperial Beach to La Jolla Canyon, ending north of Mount Soledad. The faulting made some areas rise and some fall. Mount Soledad was elevated, as was Point Loma, while Mission Bay and San Diego were depressed. The coastline was being eroded into a new marine terrace forming just offshore. The present 10,000-year period is a continuation of the processes of the last million years. Coastal erosion and uplifting of the county is going on. The effects of the northwest shift along the San Andreas Fault continues, resulting in periodic earthquakes along the various fault systems. The impact of European settlers with their modern mining, farming, urbanization, and control of water in the last 400 years has changed many geologic processes. The last hundred years have seen the most dramatic impacts of the human species upon geology. A man-made channel in 1906 allowed the Colorado River to again flood the Salton Sink, creating the Salton Sea. Agricultural use of pesticides, fertilizers, and herbicides have changed soil chemistry. Massive earth movement, change of water flows, damming of rivers and streams, importation of water, building large tracts of houses, and the development of a complex and man-controlled transportation system have changed erosion patterns and sediment deposition. The introduction of cattle by the Spaniards started the process, as can be seen by the stair steps on the grassy hills of Sorrento Valley. We humans do have an impact on the geology of habitats, resulting in changes in the environment. The San Diego geologic history can be a case study in human impact on the niches of species that have evolved over the eons.